Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman. And tonight I am watching Marimashita Irumakun episode 14. I believe it's 14. Yeah, 14. So, last episode, um, Iruma joined uh, one of the battlers. I forget what it was. It, uh, I forget what it was called. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was the one that I figured he would join. They kept showing the person in charge of it, like, multiple times. Like, he kept running into him. Or her. I can't tell. And, um, probably a he. But who knows. <laughs> and, um, they had a talk. You know, he was showing him around and showing him some of the things that he's made or some of the other items that he has. And he found... Well, he told him that he wanted to make one of these... I think it's called what, a magical apparatus battler? I think it's what it's called. Um, how he wants to make one that will allow people who don't have any magical ability to use magic. Um, which Iruma is interested in because he has no magic. He has the ring that has his grandfather's... Um, magic in it, but not his own. Um, so he ends up going and finding uh, Asmodeus and Clara, telling them about it, and then the three of them join. So he went from having nobody in his battler to having three new members. Uh, the student council president... She's been trying to get him to go and see, you know, the student council because she thought that he was going to join the student council. But when he said that he had joined this one, she got a little upset saying, you know, you said you would join the student council. And he's like, I don't remember saying that. And then I guess it took two hours for him to explain what happened. She, I guess, eventually just said, OK, you know, whatever, uh, but was still kind of upset about it. Well, disappointed, I should say. Uh, so that was the first half of the episode. Second half of the episode was more focused outside of the school, dealing with, I guess, the heroes of the underworld, where they get get, get together and they try to figure out who should be the new... Um, demon lord uh, it's between three people one of them being Sullivan you know Iruma's grandfather and these two others one other old man and uh, older woman who I guess is like two years younger than they are <laughs> she's pretty much thrown herself out of it saying that she doesn't want to do it uh, that it's something that men should do <laughs> I think that was just an excuse so that she wouldn't have to do it um, and they said, you know, you, Sullivan should do it. Both of them pretty much agreed that he should do it. Uh, I guess he's not the right rank, but they know he could be that rank if he wanted to. So they're like, you know, just hurry up and become this rank and then become the demon lord. And he was saying how now that he has a grandson... He likes spoiling him, and he wants to have more time, I guess, to do that. So that got him out of doing it. So they're just like, well, so just no Demon Lord again this year? And they're like, yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> apparently the three of them, when they have these meetings, they just... Well, two out of the three of them, anyway, would show new photos of their grandchildren and kind of have Sullivan judge on who was the cuter of the two. I guess that's why he adopted or bought, I should say, Iruma. Because he, I guess, was tired of having these two show off their grandkids. And he wanted to join in on it, too. Not that he isn't happy with having Iruma around. He seems to really like Iruma. So, yeah. However, by the end of that, one of the people from the other meeting that was supposed to decide who was going to be the new demon lord 
or Demon King, one of the two, um, came into the room. Thank Sullivan, you know, for looking after his daughter, which is the student council president. I don't know why, but when I watched the episode, I went to his servant. Thought that was, like, one of his parents for some reason. Um, makes more sense now that I saw the photo uh, that he's the student council president's dad. But anyway, uh, he then says that Sullivan's under arrest because he illegally went into the human world. <laughs> Uh, we know what happened there. He went there to get a rumor. But I guess he didn't get the right paperwork and didn't get cleared to go to the human world. So he's under arrest. And I'm assuming in this episode they're going to get him out. So let's get into this episode and see if that's actually what's going to happen. Alright, so the video is going to be located over here. And the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. And we're going to start this episode in three two one <laughs> 